This week, Lab TV travels to an Air Force research lab in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where engineers have developed a revolutionary way to design and build satellites. Sputnik was the very first satellite. It was, it was very simple, in fact. And what happened after Sputnik is we began to enter what we call the space race, and eventually this led to us going to the moon. And over the years, systems got very complicated. Sometimes satellites the size of a school bus and thousands of components, um, miles of wiring, and just lots of complexity. Typical satellite systems spend billions and billions of dollars, and most of that is in the systems engineering, getting all these parts to work together and developing software so pieces can talk to the satellite. I was frustrated many years ago at how complicated it was to build even a simple space experiment. And I said, wouldn't it be nice if we could have something that worked like, you know, plugging a mouse into a computer? And that was the inspiration for plug-and-play satellites. When I plug a mouse into a personal computer, you start to see the cursor move across the screen. We could say that those components actually are intelligent. They have small amounts of silicon in them that actually do a handshake with the computer so that the computer knows that the components have been added. In building a spacecraft, we also want to make those components smart so that if I add a thermometer or a gyro to a spacecraft, it knows that a gyro or a thermometer has been added and it knows what to do with it. This is a very powerful idea. We call it self-organization. Dr. Like and his team have created modular spacecraft components that can go together no matter what kind of satellite you need to build. They want to make designing a satellite almost as easy as ordering a personal computer. We'll have a very smart, almost like a web uh, website that will walk us through the steps. It, it, it will ask us questions like, well, what type of spacecraft would we like to build? Would we like to build a weather satellite or a communication satellite? So you could say, I need a sun sensor, I need this kind of power, I need a camera that does this. And at the end of that, it will spit out a list of all your parts. And you could go take everything in a box to a table like this and start plugging it all together and then test it and get it ready for launch. In the background, we have what's called the plug and play set. Now think of that as a personal computer with 48 USB ports, but the USB ports are actually on the panels. In each of those ports, we can put a different spacecraft component. No matter where I plug any component, the system will find it and know what to do with it. So we have great freedom to choose different ways of building our spacecraft. And their goal is to build them in less than a week. In fact, we've built this particular plug and play set in less than four hours and other people continued to study it and they got the time down to less than two hours. The greatest thing about what we're doing here is that it was a fantastic idea and people have really come together and made it work and to see this really progress and become the way that people build satellites in general is really exciting. So a lot of what I would tell people about technology is be persistent in the subjects of mathematics and science you will find that the more you work on it, the easier it gets. And it's, it's like working out in a gym. You can't pick up the weights three times and be strong. So when you work math problems, you'll make mistakes. You just have to keep, you have to keep at it. And what you're going to find is that you somehow magically seem to understand. In this Lab TV show, engineers develop a universal plug-and-play system to make building satellites a lot easier.